We're back, fellow knife enthusiasts. This week, it's all about Damascus steel. That's right. We're bringing you the best Damascus steel knives for 2020. Now, I like a lot of our videos, but this one, this one is my favorite. This one's going to be memorable. Yes, it is. Why is it that this one's your favorite? Because it's, what's that, ladies and gentlemen? All about Damascus. Oh, I don't have a Damascus sign. Sorry. No. It's one week from Christmas. No. What then? It's AK Blades. 100th episode, people. Oh, wow. I should have glasses on that. Let me somebody will put a 100 glasses on my face. Watch. Mm -hmm. All right. Put something stupid there. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, I really feel like Barry Manilow should be like coming out from behind us and saying, looks like we made it. I don't want Barry Manilow coming up behind me. <laughs> but Sean would be all right. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sean, Sean would be all right. Would he? Yeah. What do you mean? Okay. Robin Thicke would be real kind of scary. Right, would be, yeah. Right. Robin Williams, that'd be weird. <laughs> so right. for this record-breaking episode, we picked some record-breaking knives, very popular, mm -hmm. that are now available in Damascus Steel. We won't draw this out. We'll be merciful this time. So let's start with the Kershaw bare knuckle. Okay, well, I really like this Kershaw design. They've made a lot of good EDCs over the years. Especially with things like the blur, mm -hmm. the uh, leak, because mm -hmm. everybody needs a leak. Misdirect. Yeah, exactly. They're both, wait a minute. I feel like this one just needs a little more recognition mm -hmm. than those. Just just a little bit. I mean, it's made in the USA, and the design is based on the original ZT0777 award winner. So. If you guys didn't know, Kershaw and Zero Tolerance are simpatico. <laughs> They're both next level. That's for Willie. Oh, was it? Mm -hmm. Anyways, uh, they made the spinoff uh, in slimmer in profile and up the materials. Uh, the drop, I'll show you guys real quick. The drop point plain edge blade on this version is, of course, Damascus steel. Uh, this one is the, there isn't another version. This one just has a black Damascus steel blade, which is a bit different. It's about three and a half inches long, operates on their KVT ball bearings. Um, whole thing overall is 8.2 inches. The handle is gray anodized 6061 T6 aluminum. That's, That's nice. aircraft aluminum. And supports the sub frame lock, which keeps the weight down, while still giving a solid blade lockup. It's got a deep carry, left or right-handed, pocket clip. Mm -hmm. And finally, this flipper is offered in two, count them, other versions. But this is the only Damascus model. And it's only 104.84 at AtlanticKnife.com. I believe my sign has almost been 100 episodes. It's starting to look... It looks 100 episodes old. Yeah. Well, speaking of 100 episodes old... <laughs> We'll put her away. Will you? Okay, so what do you like about this one? Oh, what I like about it? I can hand it to him open. Well, I like lots of things. I like that it's designed on the 777. Mm -hmm. I mean, the pocket clip's integrated nicely. Mm -hmm. I like the... Um, Subframe lock. Yeah. And it flips easy. Whoops. Epic fail. fail. It's greasy, of course. You know that already. It's greasy, yeah. It's Damascus. And, uh, Gotta keep it oiled there. Yeah, I like the pivot. I mean, I kind of like everything about this. Nice mm -hmm. little knife. I think I like it too. I like I like that they did a, a black Damascus blade, because that's something different. You usually, just see you know regular mm -hmm. satin finish type ones, not satin finish. That is the Kershaw style Damascus. It definitely. is. It's nice. So that does bring us to our next Damascus knife pick, the Defcon Peregrine. Oh wow. We might have cheated. This could be from 2019. So. I don't think it is. I can't remember. But go you, ahead. You leave a comment down below if it's 2019. If, it's, if it is, oh well. We still like it. I've actually always liked this one. A lot. Warning, I'm going to gush a bit. I just, look at this. It is this. It has slimness. It's sleek. It's got the real classy, snazzy vibe. I mean, it's not a life knife that just looks good being flipped open. I mean... Looks good all the way around. Closed, open, it doesn't matter. And even the the show side, not the non-show side, that C usually doesn't like, it looks nice too. Hmm. With that being said, we should probably give them a close-up look, along with some specs. Fine. Just so they can see what they're you know you're talking about there. So uh, the Peregrine is eight and a half inches overall, mm -hmm. while the Damascus blade is about five inches. Handle is titanium, and you have these really like intense deep cutouts 
I all when I see something like this, I feel like it's like a feat of engineering, simply because they had to think about how much they could cut out to lighten it, but not so much that they wouldn't leave it with enough, you know, structural integrity type of thing. I mean, you, you don't want it to break while you're using it. Hmm. And they've, I mean, look at that. Come on. What are we talking about? A building? That transforms into a robot, yes. Oh. No, I just think that when a company does something like this, that they don't get enough credit. And DEF CON deserves some credit. I mean, look at these. Come on. Come they on, are so. nice. I, I like know. the length of them. You know that already. So. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Come on. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what I like, so... No, what do you like about it? Oh my gosh, the weight, the length. I like how they're tanto. Oh, tanto. Oh. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Of course, it extremely popular when it came out. It has since continued to sell out, which is not a big surprise for me. I think we only have, like, what? Not many. Not, not, not a lot left. I mean, and I don't think we're going to really get any more. I think they did this knife and they've... Uh, you think that's it? I think it might I don't be. Know. I, I think, think it might be, be like we'll the see. the CRKT Psych. I, I like the name and I liked how weird oh, the glide the lock psych was. Will be back, don't and it's worry. discontinued, right? I think. I'm sure it'll be back. It'll right. be back in a clam pack. It'll be back in a box. It's, it's not coming back. Yes, it will. There's no way they're not a uh, knife. Yeah, they they didn't spend all that money making one knife and not run nine million copies of it at CRKT. That's great. Mm -hmm. So, come all right. three different options. Yes, three different options. Yeah. Uh, blue. That's gray yeah. <laughs> and bronze. Oh, that's why. why so, why, as why uh, Joel mentioned, because I was blue and gray. Oh, <laughs> never mind. Yeah. Though, as Joel mentioned, we only have a few left. I feel like we're on QVC right now trying to sell jewelry. And okay, the bronze is completely sold out. That just leaves us with the gorgeous blue peregrine. There you go. And the stunningly sleek gray peregrine. You should really call and get it now before it's too late. It's only two easy payments at forty four forty eight plus tax. Oh my gosh. Stretch pay, Dave. Stretch pay. <laughs> or one payment of eighty eight ninety five at AtlanticKnife.com. For those who, who know math, yes, we gave you a discount of one penny. One, it's the holidays, season of giving. Second, eighty eight ninety five did not divide evenly by two. Yeah. Just to be correct here, we're not doing payments. <laughs> we're I really don't think one bulk. <laughs> I don't think I have the hands for the don't actually do for the QVC job. That would be a, <laughs> we do not do. Do we do layaway? Kinda. Okay. On so some higher end models. I do some layaway. I don't think I have the hands for it either. Knives and tape have ruined everything. Yeah. So we'll just stick to what we do slightly better. Knives. So next up is two picks from Savivi. We couldn't help it, guys. They had such a great year. We had to do at least more than one. We did narrow it down. Yeah, she couldn't really narrow it down, but she tried. But first, we'd like to thank you guys who got us this far. We're almost at 6,000 6, subscribers. Never thought I'd see the day. Neither did I. Neither did I. However, the show does depend on you guys, so make sure to <laughs> like. Oh, you did a, you did a Medford. Wait, so I didn't have a knife. Share, comment, and subscribe. That way, weird both you ways. always have access to... To us and our giveaway speaking of which mm -hmm. make sure to head on over to Hold Facebook on a second. parlor or Instagram that's great we're still hosting the ultra X knife a day giveaway mm -hmm. where every day we give away a knife every day every day every day <laughs> every day every day I write the book I know I joke it's old but mm -hmm. there's only three days left so make sure to get in on the action and the best part you can enter in all of them mm -hmm. we aren't picky and if you can't tell Jewel is angry thanks for ultra <laughs> thanks to ultra X for sponsoring that it was really nice of them yeah they are pretty fantastic so and let's making, help them out making so many Christmas dreams come true mm -hmm. Yeah. Plus, you get a chance to see knives that you normally don't see. Exactly. We'll try to do this probably every year. I'd like see to. if we can get somebody that's a little off the beaten path, let's say. With not, Bring with them on knives. to the path. Exactly. All right. Whew. Give them away free knives, is that what yeah. you said? Yeah. Well, so don't miss out. All right. So, as we said, wow. two wow. Sabivi picks. That's mostly my fault. Why? Because you say you give away free knives? Yeah, and you cut out God. How dare oh, you? I'm sorry. How no, dare right. you? I would never do such a thing. Uh -huh, uh -huh. But you said, I confirmed yep. with so you. So we're going on to the two uh. Civivis this time. As always, we went with the Damascus Asticus 
And the Damascus <laughs> Elementum, sorry, no rhyming on that one. Oh my gosh. So let's start off with the Asticus. Well, for obvious reasons, it was a big success. <laughs> It is very reminiscent of the Elementum, in my opinion. I'll show you guys real quick. Uh, it's got a little more in the length and a little more curve on both the handle and the blade, but the liners still stick out. A little more than Elementum, but it's still the same type of style. The overlay, overlay is similar in thickness and style, not to mention they are both flippers. Both are liner locks, and both have a black stainless reversible puck look, and both come in black G10 with twill carbon fiber onlay with Damascus blades. Wow. Yeah. What well, you know I like about the Ascus? Mm. The size, how easy it is to flip, the style of the blade. You know. mm -hmm. I'll give some quick specs. Comes in several versions, including Jewel Jade. Mm -hmm. It's 8.75 inch overall with a 5 inch Damascus steel happy. blade. I was thinking exactly that when I said it. Mm -hmm. The other versions are D2, while the handle, as Jewel said, wow. mm -hmm, really is black G10 with, twill, with a twill carbon fiber onlay. It's got a reversible pocket clip, just like Jewel said, and comes with a black nylon zipper storage pouch, unlike Jewel, oh, but wow. like my mother-in-law, oh. but her pouch is not nylon. So, trying to compliment me, but take down your mother-in-law at the same time. They That's have a saying for that. Two birds, one, one stone. stone. Yeah, that was coming. As I've mentioned, carbon fiber is probably one of my most favorite materials, simply because the makeup of it leads to higher stiffness, tensile strength, temperature tolerance, chemical resistance, but still keeps the weight low. And it also doesn't warp under a quick temperature change like metal does. So. You know, you said tensile strength, temp temperature tolerance, and chemical resistance. Think about that. Yeah. When you'd be in that situation. So like if you're out in the hot sun doing meth, I mean... Okay, you're not going to use... <laughs> don't spill that battery you're, acid. <laughs> okay, you're not going to try all of those characteristics at so once. So what she's telling you is... If you're out and you're drinking a beer and a, you spill this on it... A carbon fiber no, knife. No beer stain. Carbon fiber knives okay? are not good and for the And then if you're meth. out in the snow and you drop it, guess what? It's going to look exactly the same you take it back out of the snow. That is true. Okay, that's what I meant. I didn't mean I'm freaking hiking through the desert and there's battery acid leaking on it as I'm... I, I don't know. No, I thought my meth thing was good because... Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright. Okay. <sighs> But can we just go with the fact that it's pretty cool looking? Yeah. All that's right. that's just a bonus. Thing. And it's only seventy six fifty. Right here. At Enlightenmap.com. However, I have to say although it was popular, it never reached elementum. Yeah, due to the price. Level. Yeah, I agree with you. Yeah. I know how that kills you. I don't agree mind. with me. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Oh, agreeing with you? Yeah, yeah. I don't like that. Uh -huh. Alright. So there. When I first Elementum. looked over the Elementum when it mm -hmm. came here, yeah, I liked it, you know, but I wasn't sure it was going to take off, so yeah. to say. It was a bit small for me, mm -hmm. at about seven inches overall. See how I'm working that in there? Yeah. And the flipper wasn't as pronounced for like a quick, easy deployment that I like. But I thought people would, you know, they'd, they'd probably want it. It'd be a decent seller. However, the design was good. I did like that part too. Mm -hmm. So after I got away from here and I went to my desk and I looked at it, I could not help but flip it open over and over. It cut well. The small size was, you know, really helped by the easy carry and the great price and the D2, which was kind of a new idea mm -hmm. at that time in that price range. So I had to change my mind. I'm going to be honest. I've been in the knife biz for a while. <sighs> not as long as C, obviously. <laughs> but I've always had a, a problem kind of separating what I like from what others will like. Kind of a strange individual. And that's why I don't do the buying. They have a name for that. Do they? They're selfish. Oh, selfish. <laughs> There's other reasons, too. That's way to lay it on. Christmas time. You steal my line. You I'm doing God. the you, you, what? hammer thumbs. You're so beautiful. <laughs> oh, I got you. You compliment her, you bring her You're back down. down. Yes. All right. <laughs> it's Salter. Okay, I think so. I have to say, I did not see the popularity of the Elementum coming. I mean, it was a good knife, don't get me wrong, but I didn't think it was like ZTO 350 or Spider Co Tenacious or Paramilitary 2 status. I, I just didn't think it was going to. It might have possibility that it has tenacious lasting. It, it might, it might it, be I selling it, it five now. or six years yeah. from now. Just because it's gotten in so many people's hands and people will tell other people about it and show them. All right, so 
thanks to the popularity of this extensive amount of choices, several different colors, G10. There's also two different wood handle versions, mm -hmm. a micarta, and finally, twill carbon fiber. With the Damascus blade. Damascus blade. Show you guys real quick. I know you saw it already, but come on, it's a thing of beauty. Mm -hmm. Okay. Everyone wants to say it again. And it's only $89.25. Atlantic.com. There it is. Unfortunately, we do have to move on to our final blade on the table. However, it is one of my personal favorites. Like Lux Soap? Life Boy, on the other hand. <laughs> no. The Reich 1902 in Damascus, of course. Ah, uh, yes. The one I often say is the Kingdom Hearts, or like the Zelda of knives here. Mm -hmm. Best picture I ever took, I have to say. It's one of my favorites. We did this knife uh, for our legendary episode, and mm -hmm. we could not help but bring it back for our hundredth. Now, I do recall you said that this one will be popular, and you were right. Mm -hmm. Though it's a little up there in price, I think the Bowler M390 one's like 199 mm -hmm. and this one's 280 But I think I think just for what you're getting, it is, it, it is really worth it. It is. It is. I know. I know. Go ahead. Tell me what you like about this one. That way they can see everything. What get. I like the blade style. I like how it's a nice gentleman's knife. I would use it though. Um, I like how the Damascus or Damascus goes all the way back to the flipper. A lot of people don't, uh, you know, continue that through. I like how the back really? spacer. A lot of people, not everybody. Oh, okay. The back spacer and the pocket clip have a nice match to them. Uh -huh. You would think that like red blue gray and gold and all that would not go together yeah. but in Primary this case colors. it does yeah i love how the various color carbon fiber inlay is just it's nice and they have a blue one too i like the red one better but that new kind of marbled mm -hmm. multiple color carbon fiber is is really nice and i like the size and the shape I really like the anodized or the <clears throat> the anodized bronze titanium, excuse me, and the blue accents like you mentioned. Flipper studs good. I mean, it's it's a perfect knife to be perfectly honest. Easily one of my top favorites. And it comes in Damascus. It's like they're trying to sweeten the pot, aren't they? Mm-hmm. That and the fact that it's a frame lock, which I prefer, mm -hmm. along with having the high quality materials all around. Anyways, with our last leg comes the end of our one episode. Yes! Make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. That way we can have a hundred more of these. Yeah, because that's that's what you want. A hundred more of these. You know what we and need is a new set. Oh, you know what? Are we doing our knife we'll of the year next week? Well, you know what? Speaking of set, we will actually be uh, having this video next year in Paris, France. Hmm. Right? I didn't see the, uh, the requisition memory? request for that. Oh, the requis requisition form. You know what? That's probably right next to the Ferrari requisition yeah. form. Yeah, that's a forty thousand dollar car. No, 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 that's a seventy thousand dollar automobile. 60, Go ahead. Six, All right. Really? <laughs> really? I think I'm supposed to say fifty. That's a fifty thousand dollar automobile. You know. Oh no, no, no! It's sixty-seven thousand dollars and fast. It goes from a hundred to one hundred and fifty in like. You were. And you were supposed to say six. Yeah, yeah, that's why sorry. I changed it because I adjusted for in an inflation. Yeah. That's a three hundred thousand dollar car. All right. I don't want to see more of these blue slips. I just want my rest slips. Okay. <laughs> Joel's caught on Beverly Hills Cop. I don't, I, don't All right, forget, let's get her restarted. Don't, you said uh, knife of the year? No, next week for Christmas we're doing best knives of December twenty twenty. Uh, knife, knife of the year will be January. All right, January. First one of be. I think it might it be. It might be. Or 31st. Ooh, one of the we other. We plan that. Don't forget to head on over to Facebook, Instagram, or Parlor to enter the Ultra Knife just... Day giveaway. <laughs> yes, I did. It only goes to December 20th, so three days left. You got three days. Beverly Hills Cop never gets old. Nope. Unlike my mother in law. With that, I'm seeing this is. Jewel. Just Jewel. And we are signing off. Oh, you got a signature for your name now. Mm. Yeah. Wow.